again, welcome back. We'll talk about what I have eaten the past couple of days, but let me tell you first, the um, Monte Cristo, <laughs> you don't call it Crisco all day yesterday, Monte Cristo breakfast casserole that I said was a total experiment as far as if it would prep. I just knew it would be good fresh, and I took a chance that it would prep good, stay in the fridge for four days. I was worried about those little um, cream cheese pancakes. I didn't know if maybe they would get soggy and kind of wimpy. Well, I had it this morning, let me tell you. Held up perfectly. It, it was not soggy. Those pancakes were just, I don't even know how to describe. It was, it was firm, but yet when it heated up, it softened up. So, the recipe said to serve it with syrup. And I told you I would try a little piece of it with syrup before I covered the whole thing. Well, I had um, my sugar-free syrup, and I put cut off a little piece and put it on there, and I'm going to tell you what. I put syrup on the whole thing. The sweet and salty, and then the cheese. Who thought syrup and Swiss cheese would even... <laughs> <laughs> work but it does it was really good i was pleasantly surprised at how well it turned out listen when you try these new recipes that aren't yours and you never made before you just don't know and when i bring y'all recipes like that that i know i have never tried and they are not tried and true for me and i've never tasted them it's nerve-wracking because i'm like it might be <laughs> nasty because everything I cook ain't good y'all I told y'all that before and I mean it everything I cook ain't good but I still put everything on my website because a lot of people cook like I do they look at recipes and like well I don't like that ingredient or I want more of that or I want less of that and change it up so if mine is not delicious yours might be I'll give you the bones I'll give you the bones and you fill in the, the meat <laughs> now let me tell you about my syrup. It's the Hash Teeter sugar-free. I didn't read the bottle. I didn't look at the card because in my mind, sugar-free, there was no carbs. Well, I put it in my tracker and it come up 11 carbs. I'm like, oh my gosh, did they like put real sugar in it or something? So I started looking up recipes and I found some recipes for um, like keto pancake syrup because it had zero carbs I thought well I guess I'll be making me some syrup well I went in there a while ago and I thought well let me read the back of the bottle just to see what is in this thing and it's five carbs and five sugar alcohols sugar alcohols as well as fiber are the two things you can subtract from the total carbs to get your net carbs so it's a zero net carb syrup I don't have I can make my own if I feel like it but no, <laughs> not in the mood at this time. I track bites does not take into consideration um, sugar alcohols, and it didn't have any fiber, but it just had straight up 11 grams of carbs. And so that's where it pays to read your labels and to figure out on your own. So I just wiped it out. I, I can type it in myself, you know, add in my own, I haven't done it yet, but I can add in my own um, entry of a food, and I don't know if, you know, I don't know how that is, since I'm not counting bites, if I'd have to put calories in, I bet I would, well, I, I just get it off the back of the bottle, that's no big deal, but I did want to tell you that that breakfast casserole, it really did work out as a prep. So I look forward to having that every day. My um, The cream cheese pancakes, I look forward to making those just as pancakes. I have been craving IHOP pancakes for probably three weeks. They show these commercials on TV, and every time that IHOP commercial comes on and I see that stack of pancakes, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I told David, I'm like, honey, he goes, I know I want some pancakes too. <laughs> oh, well. These might not be IHOP pancakes, and they might be thin, but I'll tell you what, they actually taste good. I mean, it's just cream cheese, cream cheese and eggs, so when I make them as pancakes, I will add the sweetener to it, and 
I might even add some vanilla. I don't know. Was it sweetener and cinnamon that was it? I'll probably leave out the cinnamon. Maybe add a little bit of vanilla. Because when I make French toast, um, I put a little bit of vanilla in it. Um, that just makes it a little special. So, before we, let me remind myself, which I'll probably forget. Before we go, we'll talk about today's um, card. But let's go through what I ate the past two days. So for Saturday, y'all know that's normally my eat out day. Well, I cooked at home. And if you saw my um, video, I made a roast beef chopple sandwich. But let's start at breakfast. Breakfast, I just had three boiled eggs um, for lunch. And then the rest of the day up until supper, I had all these treats. All these spam, all these luncheon meat. I grew up on treat. Fancy rich people ate spam. I did not eat spam to way on up as an adult because we ate treat. And I still prefer treat to this day. But you know what? It's not poor people food no more. It's like it used to be dirt cheap. Everything that used to be poor people food, and y'all can testify, is now like chic or something. And it's expensive. You know? Fat back, my gosh, the price of that fat back was ridiculous. And a can of treat, it ought not to be even 99 cents because, you know, <laughs> ain't no telling what it's made out of. That's like potted meat. I love, y'all like potted meat? I love potted meat. I love me a potted meat and mayonnaise sandwich. Oh, I grew up on those. David, he would just as soon eat dog food <laughs> before he touched any potted meat. It's like, have you read that can? I'm like, actually, I have. <laughs> I just tend to ignore it. <laughs> because even though all those little parts of, you know, this, that, and the other, they come together to make a delicious spread. Mama used to devil hers. Um, she would add boiled eggs and pickle relish to hers. And it was good. If you ain't never tried that, it, if you're so inclined to eat some potted meat, put you some mayonnaise in it. Some crushed, crushed up, crushed up deviled eggs, mashed deviled eggs, chopped deviled egg, deviled eggs, boiled eggs. Oh my gosh. Let me get my go-go juice. <laughs> I've been drinking it all morning. I've been up since you know when. You know when. Uh, and some pickle relish and mix that all up. It's good. It's good. Listen, that's how I grew up. And so then I ate on that and I had a can of peas and a can of carrots. And I thought, just like them beets, they've been in the cabinet forever. I need to eat them and get them out, not waste them. So I mixed them together and I only ate just a small, maybe even a half a cup. And I just didn't want them. They just, they weren't hitting my spot. So that was all I ate of that. And then supper was um, that roast beef chopple. And I could only eat not even half of it the first time. See, we do that a lot. That that happened to the next day, too. We do that a lot. We'll eat. We'll have, like, enough of one thing for one meal and then save the same thing up, you know, to eat on again the later on that night or whatever. So I ate almost half of it then, and then later on that night, I don't know, I think I sat over there and napped because, you know, that's what we do. We eat and sleep. <laughs> we are party animals. Then I got up and finished the other half. And I only had one little helping of the sweet potato puffs that are so good. Listen, David, he said, I stood over. When he went back later on, he, he was cleaning up the kitchen. And he said, I stood over. I think I ate 20 of them while I was standing there. I'm like, I didn't go back again anymore. I ate what I ate, and I counted them, and I was done. I was proud of myself because those are like little, you can just pop them little things like candy. They are that good. So I told you I'm not counting calories, but I'm going to at least look and see what my calories are at the end of the day. So I ended up with only 1,341 calories that day and 30 net carbs. So the carbs were okay. The calories were a bit low. Now Sunday... Early a.m., and you know what time that is, I had a bag of pork rinds, and then, you know, it was prep day. So, hold on, I'm just really, I'm thirsty. 
I think I swallowed that too loud. <laughs> I did the prep. Well, when I got through with prep, I got through filming. I didn't eat anything. And those little fathead dough buns, they were small. And I made six of them. I'm like, well, I didn't need six. And I was hungry. So I picked out one of those little ones. Oh, it was good. I hope they don't dry out. I, I got them in the fridge. I'm assuming since they're made of cheese, they need to stay in the fridge. So that's where I got them. I just hope they're, they don't dry out. That's another experiment. I know they're good fresh, but I've never made any of, you know, a bun and tried to save it. So I'm hoping that even if it does turn, that it'll maybe come back, wrap it in a, I'll probably wrap it in a, a wet paper towel and pop it in a microwave. Just, you know, to heat it up. So anyway, for a snack, I had, one of those little small fat head buns. <laughs> Isn't that a funny? I don't know how it got the name fat head though. But look it up. You can do all kinds of stuff with it if you're doing low carb. And then now this is where we ate twice. Um I have been seeing Hardy's commercials for the longest times. Hardy's, if you don't have Hardy's, you might have a Carl's Jr. They're owned by the same people. I think it's the exact same food. I think um it's the exact same food. But we have Hardee's around here. Good hamburgers because they're charbroiled. And boy, you go down by the restaurant, you can smell that coming out. Is They're good burgers. Well, they've been advertising buy one and get one for a dollar. And it's called their Famous Star. They used to be called Thick Burgers, but it's, it's a Famous Star. And um, it's just got cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, pickles, onions. So... I got four. I got two for David and two for me. He got some fries and I did not. I got me a Diet Coke, which was really good. Diet Pepsi is my fountain drink of choice, but they have Coke products. And I don't want my Pepsi people to hear me, but it was good. <laughs> so what we did was we had one for lunch. Now, I took the bun off of mine. What I, The way I ordered them was all extra veggies. Everything, pickles, onion, all those things extra on all of them because I knew my, I was taking my bun off. I didn't know if he wanted to or not, but you can't go wrong with, you know, extra goodness on there. So I took my bun off and I just um, ate it with a knife and a fork and it was just like a little salad basically. I didn't put no dressing on it and most of the mayonnaise came off with the bun, but it was, it was still okay. Um, so that's what I ate and then that was lunch. So we saved our other one for supper. So I didn't, I didn't cook my lasagna uh, mushrooms. So I'm going to switch up what well, I was going to make chicken broccoli alfredo tonight, but my chicken's frozen. So I don't have to worry about it being fresh in the fridge and going bad. So I'm just going to make our lasagna stuff portobello's tonight for supper. But, um, so then we had our second hamburger for supper and I mean, that works for us. We do that when we buy tacos. Back when we lived on tacos at Taco Bell, we would buy enough for two meals. And most of the time, it was supper. And then um, 1 o'clock at the night. Or if we didn't go until 1 o'clock at night, it was for breakfast the next day. <laughs> y'all, Y'all turn your nose up if you want to. If you ain't never had a cold Taco Bell taco, you missed out. <laughs> you can heat it up if you want to, but I'd usually just sit there and eat it cold. Yes, I do not have a very um, uh, fancy palate. My <laughs> I'll eat just whatever. Um, then I had an extra salad before I even had supper. I was just getting a little, a little hungry around the edges. And uh, so I just made me a regular salad that I ate in between lunch and supper. And then snack kind of late last night was a little bag of trail mix, the little um, Orchard Valley. It was the cranberry walnut something, I think. I had a bag of that. So my calories for yesterday were 1562, and that was with two, two bunless burgers. Um, let me, hold on, I'll tell you how I did that and 29 net carbs. The way I figured was I went and I could not find anywhere um, to see the size of that burger. 
I was thinking it was a quarter pound burger because it is not a big one. Well, I did find the Top Secret Recipes copycat for a Carl's Jr. Famous Star. Yeah, it was called Famous Star. And the recipe uses a quarter pound of ground beef to make it. So I'm like, well, he does um, copycats, so he would have researched it. Somehow found out. Well, I looked up to see four ounces of hamburger cooked would give you a three ounce patty. So I entered a three ounce cooked hamburger and what I used was 85% because I did find where Hardy said they use or somebody said that Hardy said, I don't know, chuck round and sirloin trimmings to make their burgers. So they got a little bit of everything in it. So it's not all the way down to chuck and it's not all the way up to sirloin. So I just kind of split the difference and made it 85. Um, the, no carbs in it, but that, you know, gives me some calorie count in the mix. So that is how I calculated my hamburgers, my cheeseburgers. And I just looked up a slice of um, just American processed cheese or whatever. I figure that was close enough. So that's what I've had the past couple days. I, I have weighed and I have not lost anything. So something better be happening between. <laughs> you see my calories ain't been going over. My carbs have been good. So maybe we'll see if it'll drop between now and Thursday. I'll be disappointed if it don't. Being how I'm doing, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing. But I think somebody told me when I did something before that it kind of might take your body time to catch up with what you're doing new. So we'll see. I won't go into no deep, dark depression, but I'll just be a little perturbed <laughs> if my weight is up. So today I have been like, what have I been doing today? I've been doing something. Oh, I made a new little thing to put my Q-tips in, in the bathroom. I sit here and I still have crafter's block. I was sitting here this morning. I was looking around all these things I have, these raw materials that I have to craft with. And I'm just, I, I draw a blank. I cannot think of what to make. And I was walking in there uh, when I was going to get the tripod. It was in the kitchen. And I thought, I looked around maybe I'm blocked because I don't have anywhere else to put anything. I don't have any empty spaces for anything. So then I thought, well, I do have my little shelf that I bought at um, the thrift store that I glued my legs on. I hadn't gone down there to, uh, excuse me, turn it upside down yet and see how it looks. But I've got to paint it. That will give me some more shelves to make stuff. So maybe knowing that I'll have that will jog a little something for me to do um and i want to go down there and paint it today but my gosh it is so cold in that big room i would have to bundle up in a parka i think <laughs> i think i'm gonna try it though because i can't get it in here and start working on it if i don't get it painted um i am making a little there's a look it's over there i've been painting on it i gotta put another coat or two it's a little box with the back that's shaped like that it come from the dollar tree didn't know what i was going to do with it and i have been looking for something my can you see that box in front of the um phone that's where the motivational cards are and it's hard they're in there so tight it's hard for me to get a hold of them they're slick and i've looked at everything i had around here everything's too big too big too big that's a little too big but close enough so I'm going to decorate it with something. I don't know. I'm going to put some kind of word on it or or something. Um, I may wait because um, somebody who went to the DT, who y'all probably watch and know is JPP, <laughs> found me some owl stickers. We went um, virtual shopping together yesterday when she was in Maryland. She called me. and this is I'm telling you, this is what we do. We get on the phone and we turn the other person around. So when we're walking and looking, she was just showing me, had the camera, the phone, showing me around and I can, I can see. And then when she wants to talk, she's flipping around and we can talk. So 
<laughs> but she found some cool, cool owl stickers that we have never seen before. So she threw them in her buggy. So I think I'll leave the the back part that sticks up. I think I'll leave that and put a couple owls on it because, you know, owls. But now let's talk about that. I forgot what it says. Hold on, let me look. Every moment is a fresh beginning. Woo! Ain't that the truth? That just ties, that, there's a lot of these that ties into our weight loss journey. Hey, y'all notice that? E every moment, that is, what, what do we say? You don't have to wait till the next day. Every meal is a chance to get back on track. If you mess up today, you don't have to wait until tomorrow morning at breakfast to get back on track. You get back on track with the next thing you fix to eat. You don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just because you ate like, you know, a moron all day long don't mean you can't eat a healthy supper. Every moment is a fresh beginning. If you mess up in life, the, the next the next minute you got a chance to turn it around you you, you say something to somebody that you regret you said <sighs> listen I would turn the ringer off but when I come back here I shut my door and like if David's up I leave the door open but if he's asleep I shut the door because our bedroom doors are straight across and he is a light he is a light sleeper I'm gonna tell you I'm going to tell you how I used to wake him up. It's funny. But what I was saying was if you say something, you regret saying that the next minute in time, the next moment in time is a new opportunity to fix it. It's an opportunity to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. There, there's, there's no finite um, stopping point where... Okay, I've gone this far. I don't have any more chances. Take that wall down and take that next moment to fix whatever it is. And if we're talking about a weight loss journey, then you fix what you're eating. If you have eaten everything under the shining sun for six months, guess what? Six months in one moment, that's your time. Just start, just start, just just wash all that away. I don't care if you wake up in the middle of the night and eat two sleeves of Oreos. Then just do your breakfast. Get right back on time. Right, right back on schedule. Every moment is an opportunity for a new beginning. Whatever that thing says. But that's, that's the gist of it, correct? That might be what it says. I don't know. <laughs> so... I'll just take that opportunity to tell you, don't give up. Every 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 next moment is a new beginning. Now, let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, this is how I can wake David up to this day. He is a very very light sleeper. I mean, just anything, and he's up. And I think that comes from being a truck driver because he he'll like. If he's in the middle of the night and he needs a nap, he'll pull off somewhere, which I made him since the um, riots. And since his truck, he got um, whatever that was thrown at him twice that same night. Um, and he was at a, a off-ramp. And somebody, um, it's dark. He's not at a truck stop. He's at an off-ramp. And that's what they do when you see these. That's my phone ringing. At least it ain't making noise. I thought I saw something come up. Hold on. I decline it. When you see these truckers pulled off on the off ramps, nine times out of ten, they're sitting there taking a nap because they're tired and they know they got to refresh themselves. Or they're taking their lunch break and catching a nap. That's what he'll do a lot of times. Uh, even if he's already had his lunch, they don't stop them. If they know they need a nap, they don't stop them. They understand safety first. So he, he was on an off-ramp, and he was uh, 
just kind of, you know, resting, laid up against the door. And here come this woman talking about, did he have a light? A light? I'm like, honey, she was a decoy. Because if you'd open that door, then somebody else was going to come out of that field. It was beside a field. Some some dude was going to come out of that field and they was going to rob you. He said, yeah. He said, they could have come up on the passenger side. And if they had a gun, I'd have, that's it. I'm like, yes, that is it. You are not allowed. Yes, I did. I talked to him like I was his mama. I said, you are not allowed to stop anywhere except for a truck stop. And if you can't find a truck stop, then you better keep your eyeballs open until you find one because you cannot go back on one of those off ramps. And especially now at that time when all those riots were going on because he was am his truck was ambushed by people waiting back in the dark woods and as he come they come out and that's when they ambushed his truck with some something that hit his windshield could have really really caused some damage and he could have wrecked it there's no telling what could have happened they got him on the other side of the road in the exact same spot when he was coming back down so I'm like no only truck stops, no more after after that woman come. That, that there is no way. He said there was not another truck or another car in sight. So you tell me, where did she show up from? She come out of that field with another person back there with her. That's what happened. They was going to rob him. Anyway, so I think it comes from when he he lay his head down up against the thing, and he knows he's got a half an hour, and he can do it. You lay me down to sleep. I'm gonna sleep until I'm through. Somehow he knows just to pop up, right? Well, so he sleeps like all that to tell you he sleeps like. So, oh, I don't know how many years back I did a test. <laughs> I'm his alarm clock. I have always gotten him up. Unless I'm not going to be home, then I'll set Alexa to wake him up. So I have always been his alarm clock always well i decided to test it one night just to see how he slept this is no joke no exaggeration i went to open the door went to the bedroom and i went up i said huh what (laughs) you can go in there and he is up. He, boom. He's up. <laughs> I'll still do that to this day. I don't know how Holly was little because I'd send her in there. I'd say, go in there and spit your daddy. So she would, pss, he would wake up to this day. I'll just think, I'm, I'm going to see if it still works. And it does. It still works. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Listen, some days I don't even say nothing. I just open the door and he just, starts rolling around so i know he's up you know but anyway i think that's all (laughs) i think that's all i know today (laughs) i'll be back for something i might try to film that um mushroom dish tonight low carb lasagna stuff portobello mushrooms i thought it sounded tasty so maybe i'll record it if they turn out good you'll see it And as usual, if they don't turn out good, you won't see it. So (laughs) that is all I know for today. I think I am going to bundle up and go down there and start painting my shelf. Because as cold as it is down there, it might take it a week to dry. Who knows? So I will just see you on the next video.